Ever debug your code for hours like this just to realize it came from a badly named Boolean? Yeah. Let's not do that again. Welcome to day two of 30 days of clean code where we stop writing JavaScript like it's a last minute group project. Yesterday's lesson was all about naming your variables and we're taking that one step further today. Today is all about prefixing your Booleans with is, has, or can, because these make your Booleans clear and descriptive. So let's look at some code. Now this code here technically works, but if you're new to this code base, good luck trying to figure out what exactly is happening. Check access, but what kind of access? Admin, is this a role or is this a Boolean flag? And access itself could literally mean anything. These names are too vague and they turn true or false into a guessing game. Now let's make this better. Let's prefix our admin boolean with is so that we know exactly what's happening. Let's turn our generic access variable into has admin access so we know exactly what's being checked. And lastly, can access is going to help us instantly communicate intent. Bad boolean names don't just cause bugs, they really drain you. You have to look a lot harder to figure out where that logical bug is. This was just day two of 30 days of clean code and bad Boolean names are just the beginning. Make sure that you follow now because clean naming is not optional in a scalable code base. I'll see you tomorrow for day three.